So getting into your history with AKA, um, what year did you first join AKA and, and how old were you when that happened? So I went out to AKA when I was like uh, 19, I think. It was in 1998. Um, and I tried out for the team. Now, now, mind you, AKA back in 1998 was not AKA. It was Team Shamrock. And Frank Shamrock was the head of the team. So it was Javier Mendez had American Kickboxing Academy. Uh, Frank Shamrock was partnered with uh, Javier Mendez. And he had the sh- uh, Shamrock submission wrestling uh, or submission fighting. And it was like Team Shamrock. Um, so I came out there because Frank was like five-time UFC champion. He was like a big name, most well-rounded fighter. So I, along with all the other, most all the other guys, came out out there to be with Frank, to train with Frank, and to to you know obviously be on Team Shamrock, and that's what we did. Um, I tried out in 1998. Um, I ended up having to fight Bob Cook, who became the trainer later when I showed up to come back. Um, it took me uh, three or four years to come back. Maybe three years to come back to save up money and come back to San Jose after I did the tryout in 98 and made the team, uh, maybe two, two to three years that it took me to come back. But I, and during the tryout, I had to fight Charles Taylor and I had to fight, uh, you know, that Frank Shamrock beat me up with like all these like calisthenics and drills and workouts where I was just completely exhausted. Then there was like three fights I had to fight in a row, which one was, uh, BJJ, one was kickboxing and one was boxing. And then there was a surprise MMA fight full-on MMA fight after after wow. those three and that ended up being Bob Cook and me and Bob Cook went full-on MMA and that was just like right after he got like a, a one of the fastest knockouts in in history of California so I don't know something like that and and so me and him went at it and yeah like, it was rough it was a hard tryout but I didn't give up and I made the team they welcomed me on the team team Shamrock and then it took me a couple years, at least a couple years. I can't remember exactly, but at least a couple years to come back. Uh, I went to Russia and worked for a year, saved up money, came back, and then I joined Team Shamrock when I got back. And it was Frank, Javier Mendez, Bob Cook was a coach at that time, um, and then all the original guys. There's like too many to list, but it was, uh, Josh Thompson, Trevor Prangley, Paul Buenatello, Bobby Southworth, um, all the original guys. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, and so, is that the first time that you met Javier? Was that your AKA tryout? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, he, Javier owned, owned the gym. So he owned American Kickboxing Academy. Um, and then Frank was just training MMA out of his out of his gym. But Brian, Brian Johnson was the first guy. I'm going to make that clear. Brian Johnson was the first guy to come to Hav and kind of introduce MMA to the gym. Um, and then Frank came in and took over the MMA program. And so it was like Brian Johnson had a stroke and and couldn't do it anymore frank came in i don't know if they were there together at the same time or whatever but that that was how the transition happened but brian johnson was a very vital part of the beginning of of aka or american kickboxing academy getting um uh, mma and 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 and, and turning over into the mma world and then frank came in and then the team came in and then we just started building from there eventually frank would have a disagreement with hav and um bob Frank was a very hard to train with guy. He was a very difficult um, person to. He's a very hard person to to train with. And hard, I mean, like a hard person, like a like a prisoner. You know, like when you go to when you go to prison, you you you, you talk about how hard those guys are. He's kind of like that mentality, you know. And so it was really hard to train with him. He he was a very like rough guy, and and uh, he he spent the majority of the time kind of beating us up more than helping us. And so it just became a huge problem. Eventually they had a falling out. We had a big falling out later, but, um, and then they, they divided the team and he left and some of the guys, well, one of the guys went with him and then everybody else stayed. And then we all just kind of, you know, we chose to stay with Javier and with Bob and with American kickboxing Academy. And we didn't have a real like leader now because Frank was our leader and he was a very famous one obviously and we we weren't anything in our careers at that point and we just decided to call the team team aka and we started just creating the curriculum that is now the curriculum of aka we started building um the training routines the you know and, and and taking out what didn't work and keeping what worked and you know we formed the airdyne routine we formed all the sparring the way we did that the way we did the grab the way we did the whole entire class that we still do today just very modified which we've modified it since then every year um and and we still use it at ak thailand as well that's awesome yeah um, do you have any like uh memories or like do you remember even what your first impression of javier was when you met him or anything about him from those early days 
Hav was um, in the, from the early days. He was real quiet, um, off to a self kind of, and he. In the very, very beginning, he was just kind of getting his feel for MMA. So he was kind of feeling out how he can help. You know, he was a very good kickboxer, very elusive, very the, one of the best, you know, that anyone ever sparred there. So he was one of the best kickboxers. Um, and so he was just trying to, think, find his place. You know, he, he owned the gym. He, it was his gym. It was his place. He was the kind of – we called him the godfather. He was like the main boss, you know. But he was trying to find his place of like what he wanted to do and what he could do um and how he would do it that that's kind of in the early days so i never worked with him in the early days i didn't work with him until i got in the ufc you kind of had to earn your right to work with hoff you had to you had to build your way up to him and and you know a lot of fighters come in like even at aka and they want all the attention you know in the first day and it's like that's not the way it works you know <laughs> like you just you have to earn your way up like any other job or profession or education and whatever in the world you you don't just show up at a place no matter who you are and get all the attention you have to earn your way up and that's how it was with Hav. Hav uh, eventually decided he wanted to be a trainer um, and start training the guys and he was very very good at it and he's very smart um, he likes to dissect things he's very strategic and so he had a lot to offer and so he immediately became very in demand and because of that reason he became hard to get to you had to be one of the top guys on the team. Um, and we all got some work in with him, but like as far as like him taking us under his wing, it took a while for me to get him to take me under his wing. And then he became my main head coach for my career. Real quick, real quick, real quick, with Mike Swig. Real quick, real quick, real quick with Mike.